Welcome to CCN News. I am your host, Captivating Christian, and these are some of your top stories for today, January 15, 2020. Pelosi named seven lawmakers to prosecute Trump in the impeachment trial. Pastor raped children after holy bathing ritual. And in other news, House Dems released new impeachment evidence related to indicted Giuliani associate. And at the Iowa debates last night, Bernie Sanders' most boisterous opponent was CNN. <clears throat> Mary Vavanovich, the former Ukrainian ambassador, calls for an investigation after documents suggest she was under surveillance by a Trump donor. Former um, Stormy Daniels lawyer uh, Avenatti was arrested by IRS agents during a California Bar Association hearing. And in some entertainment news, Barack, former President Barack Obama has landed his first Oscar nomination. Rapper Takashi 69 fears for his safety and would like to serve his jail time from home. Speaker Nancy Pelosi has named seven managers to prosecute President Trump in the Senate impeachment trial. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on Wednesday has named the lawmakers who will serve as the managers in the Senate impeachment trial against President Donald Trump. Nancy Pelosi, a Democrat out of California, has, has named the Managers Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff, a Democrat also out of California, and Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler, a Democrat out of New York, and Representative Hakeem Jeffries, also a Democrat out of New York. Val Demings, a Democrat out of Florida, and Zoe Lofton, a Democrat also out of California, Jason Crow, a Democrat out of Colorado, and Sylvia Garcia, a Democrat out of Texas. Pelosi name shift as the lead manager. <clears throat> All of the managers are lawyers, experts in for experts. For Dimmings, who was Orlando's police chief, Jeffries, the Democratic caucus chairman, is the fourth ranking Democrat in the House. Crow, who was the only manager who doesn't serve on one of the committees that investigated Trump, <clears throat> but he is a former Army Ranger who was a lawyer in private practice. Nancy Pelosi has stated, saying, today is an important day, Pelosi said. The emphasis is making the strongest possible case to protect and defend our Constitution, to seek the truth for the American people. The House poses to move the articles to the Senate. The House is set to vote uh, Wednesday afternoon on a resolution to formally appoint managers appropriating funds for the trial and sending articles of impeachment to the Senate where open arguments are expected Tuesday in only the third impeachment trial of a president in history. This story coming from the BBC, a pastor raped children after holy bathing ritual. A church pastor repeatedly raped children after bathing ritual, claimed that it would ward off evil spirits. Michael Orambe targeted seven children over 20 years, telling them that, it, that they would fail exams or become a witch if his advances were refused. Four girls became pregnant and his wife, Juliana Arambe, arranged abortions with one girl, estimating she had five or six during secondary school. A Birmingham Crown Court jury convicted the couple of numerous charges. This story once again coming from the BBC. House Dems released new impeachment evidence related to indicted Giuliani associate. So the House Intelligence Committee released new evidence on Tuesday related to the impeachment inquiry of President Donald Trump, including information turned over by Lev Parnas, an indicted former associate of Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani. 
The release, which reflects the unfinished nature of the House's impeachment inquiry, comes ahead of an expected House vote on Wednesday to formally send the impeachment articles to the Senate for trial. Despite the unprecedented obstruction by the President, the committee continues to receive and review potentially relevant evidence and will make supplemental transmittals. The Intelligence Committee Chair Adam Schiff, Democrat out of California on Tuesday, to Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler, whose panel is responsible for com- for the compelling complete record of the investigation ahead of the Senate trial. The materials released on Tuesday contain several handwritten notes, emails, and encrypted messages and other documents that unscore the close relations the close relationship excuse me between uh, Parnas and Giuliani who was actively pursuing an effort last year to push the Ukraine government to announce investigations targeting Trump's potential political rivals the documents also uh complete one of Trump's off-state defense of his actions toward Ukraine. Previously disclosed in May of 2019, a letter from Giuliani to the Ukrainian President Zelensky is among the uh, is among the trench of documents. The Democrat-led committee made public on Tuesday. In the letter, which was obtained by from Parnas' cell phone that was that was turned over to the Intelligence Committee on Sunday, Giuliani asked for half an hour meeting with Zelensky as the former New York mayor was pursuing an investigation targeting former Vice President Joe Biden. And Giuliani made clear that he was acting with Trump's knowledge and consent and it is capable in his capacity as a personal attorney for the president at the Iowa debates Bernie Sanders most vociferous opponent was CNN Democrats assembled to Iowa Tuesday night for an opportunity to take Trump on in the upcoming general election. This time, though, it was CNN's moderator who brought a bat and swung it hard at Senator Bernie Sanders. The Vermont Independent had topped the majority's Iowa poll last week, compounding fears that have only recently emerged among the party's establishment that he may be on course for the nomination. In contrast to Sanders' treatment, former Vice President Joe Biden, the national frontrunner, was barely touched, either by moderators or his rivals. CNN's moderator, Abby Phillips, opened a line of questioning on the recent feud between Sanders and Senator Elizabeth Warren. CNN reporter said, that Senator Sanders and Senator Warren confirmed in a statement that in 2018, you told her that you did not believe that a woman could win the election. Why did you say that? The moderator used of Warren moderator's use of Warren to confirm a version of the story that originally came from Warren's account of the meeting at the time signaled which side CNN was taking in the he said, she said. But it was confirmed by the framing of the question, why did you say that rather than ask whether he said it? Sanders denied the accusation, noting that he had been ready to stand aside for Warren to run for the 2016, though she declined to. Phillips pressed to be clear that he was denying the charge. He was denying the charge, then pivoted to Warren 
and waved away his denial with such force. Senator Warren, what did you think when Sand when Senator Sanders told you a woman could not win an election? That Sanders and the audience laughed. Marie Ivanovich, the U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, who was ousted earlier this year, called for an investigation Tuesday just hours after Democrats released new evidence in President Donald Trump's impeachment case that details Rudy Giuliani pushed to remove Ivanovich from her post. The Intelligence Committee released a collection of documents obtained by Giuliani's indicted associate Lev Parnas. The evidence include a WhatsApp message between Parnas and a Connecticut congressional candidate who apparently tracked Yovanovitch's location back in March. Lawrence Robbins, an attorney representing Yovanovitch, released a statement to several news outlets on Tuesday night saying that the idea that the ambassador was being surveilled is disturbing. He said, and I quote, Nevertheless, to say the notion that an American citizen and others were were monitored Ambassador Yovanovitch's movements for unknown purposes is disturbing, Robin said in a statement reported by NBC News and USA Today. He also went on to say, We trust that the appropriate authorities will be will conduct an investigation to determine what happened. Parnas received the message from Robert F. Height in March of 2019 that contains details about Yovanovitch's locations in Ukraine from the people who appeared to be telling her, who be telling her, excuse me, in Kiev. These messages came in response to an article, tweets, video, accusing Yovanovitch of being disloyal to Trump, which Yovanovitch has denied and said that she was part of a smear campaign by Giuliani, and uh, who is Trump's personal attorney. And this is reporting out of Fox News. Avenatti arrested by IRS agents during a California Bar Association hearing. Coming out of Los Angeles, attorney Michael Avenatti arrested by the Internal Revenue Service, the IRS agents, on Tuesday evening during a break at a disciplinary hearing in Los Angeles over allegations that the high-profile lawyer scammed a client out of $840,000. The arrest occurred around 6 p.m. outside of the State Bar Court, where the State Bar of California had indicted proceedings against him. A statement by Avenatti's lawyer said, I cannot confirm that he was arrested by federal agents, Avenatti's lawyer, Dean Stewart, said, but I anticipate a bell hearing around 2 p.m. tomorrow in Santa Ana, California. I haven't seen the details of the warrant, but sure, excuse me, but should it uh, later, but you should later this evening. Avenatti did not return to court when the hearing resumed. His attorney called for a sidebar with the judge and said that he would not be able to return due to circumstances related to a criminal matter in Orange County. The former lawyer of Stormy Daniels is accused of fraud, cheating on his taxes, and lying to investigators. Federal prosecutors allege that he embezzled funds from clients. He's pled not guilty to the charges. In breaking entertainment news, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame 2020 inductees are as followed. This year's inductees to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame were revealed on Wednesday. The Doobie Brothers, Whitney Houston, and Nine Inch Nails, The Notorious B.I.G., and T-Rex. The documentary released by Barack and Michelle Obama uh, production company Higher Ground has earned an Oscar nomination. American 
Factory, which was released by Netflix last year, has earned a nod for Best Documentary Feature. Glad to see that the American's Factory Oscar nod for Best Documentary, the former president tweeted. It's the kind of story we don't see often enough. And it's exactly what Michelle and I hope to achieve with Higher Ground. Congrats to the incredible filmmakers and entire team. Takashi 69 fears for his safety and would like to serve his jail time from home. Takashi 69 has expressed fears of his safety behind bars and wants to serve out the rest of his uh, sentence from the comfort of his own home. Takashi, whose real name is Daniel Hernandez, alleged believe that his safety has been compromised because of the private jail where he is currently resides is full of nine tray uh, gangster blood members. As anyone who has followed Hernandez's court cases will know, the 23-year-old rapper is famously ratted out multiple alleged blood members shortly after his arrest. It's fair to assume that he won't be getting a warmest welcomes from his fellow inmates. According to file documents obtained by TMZ, Hernandez's lawyer, Lance Lazaro, has uh, requested the judge to permit his client to serve out the remainder of his 24-month sentence under home confinement or in a community correctional facility. Upon Takashi's release, he will have he will have to serve a 300-hour community service and pay a fine worth up to thirty-five thousand dollars. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to CCN News. I am once again your host, Captivating Christian, and as always, be the change that you want to see. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Have a blessed day. Peace.